So are backticks or template literals slower than normal string literals? Well, we know about the benefits of using template literals as far as the ease of writing the code and readability, but what about performance? So I read an article recently that said that template literals have to be processed and therefore must inherently be less performant than regular string literals. If that is the case, then how much of a performance hit will they cause? So in this video, we're going to look at the results of some testing done with JSPerf. JSPerf is a free tool that provides an easy way to create test cases, comparing the performance of different JavaScript snippets by running benchmarks. So the first test that I ran was on an empty string. How much of a performance difference could there be on an empty string? Well, you might be surprised. So here we have a simple test with a constant of nothing that equals a single quote empty string, and then a double quote empty string, and then a back tick template empty string. So let's see the results. So here we see that it's less than one tenth of 1% difference, but according to this, it shows that single quotes are the slowest and back ticks are the fastest when it comes to an empty string. But what if we have an actual string? So let's look at the next test. So here we have some constants of test that equal a string with single quotes, double quotes, and back ticks. And the results here are similar, but this time double quotes are the slowest and back ticks are the fastest again. But again, here we're talking about less than 1% difference. So does it really matter? Well, let's look at combining, concatenation and interpolation. So here we have a very simple example, and the first one is just normal concatenation with quotation marks. And we've got a constant here of name that equals John, and then the greeting equals hello plus name plus exclamation mark. And then in the second test, we have the backtick operation uh, where we have a normal template literal format here with hello and the variable and the exclamation mark all within the backticks. So let's look at the results here. So this is a bit different. Here, the back ticks are 6% faster. So this is a very simple example. So let's look at something a little bit more involved. So here we have a bunch of constants, and this is just uh, a bunch of lorem ipsum. And then at the bottom, we have a constant that is combining all of the lorem ipsum in normal concatenation. And then in the second example, using interpolation to do the same thing. So let's see the results. This time, not as big of a difference, less than half of a percent difference. But again, backtick interpolation wins. So according to these tests, I'm inclined to just use backticks all of the time. But the difference is so slight and within a reasonable margin of error that there's likely no actual difference in performance. So I would say myth busted. Backticks are not slower but I still acknowledge that most people prefer the readability of single or double quotes. So in the end, it's all up to personal preference. Now while we're here in JSPerf, this has nothing to do with template literals, but I had another question that's been bugging me. What is the quickest way to check for an empty string? So I created another test, and in this we'll compare a string to an empty string, to the length of a string, and we'll do a falsy compare. So in each of these, we have a constant of nothing that equals an empty string, and we want to know if that string is empty. So the first test is if nothing equals empty string. And in the second test, we have if nothing dot length equals zero. So that would mean it's empty. And then in the third test, we have if nothing double equals false. So that's a falsy compare. So let's see the results. So according to this, comparing a string to an empty string is faster than comparing it to length or falsy. So I just thought that was interesting and I wanted to share that as well. And that's gonna be it for this video. All right, so before you go, if you liked this video, a thumbs up is appreciated. I upload new content every week, so hit subscribe and the bell to get notified. And if you think this video or any of the videos on my channel might be helpful to someone else, please share them. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram at CodeStacker. Thanks for watching.